we don't need all this professionalism to bring forth healing in the land but one thing each and every one of us can do as God's people is called upon the name of the Lord we got to humble ourselves and get into the street and let somebody know that Jesus is the hope for the hopeless there are people that doesn't know God that are contemplating suicide. There are people that are depressed. There are people that personally telling me, Bishop, I don't know what to do with my life. I cannot see me living like this. Well, there is hope in God. Without God in our lives, we are empty. Without God in our lives, there is no purpose. Without God in our lives, we search for the meaning of life. Without God in our lives, we are hurting. This is the best time to beginning to start acknowledging that there is hope in Jesus Christ. There is healing in Jesus Christ. There is deliverance in Jesus Christ. There is restoration in Jesus Christ. There is hope in Jesus Christ. And I want to encourage you here tonight, uh, if you have an opportunity which you are having right now, to turn your life to Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, because only in Him you can find life and have it more abundantly. A day will come when every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, to get on your knees and confess Jesus. If your Christian life is wacky, ducky, and sappy, this is the time to begin to start repent and be serious with God. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is your opportune time to begin to start knowing Him and begin a relationship with Him. He said, and humble themselves. Not only humble themselves, and pray! Not only pray, seek my face. If a prophet come in town, the church is packed. A prayer warrior come in town, 10 people show up for the meeting. Our deliverance service are so packed out. Miracle service are so packed out. The prophetic line is, is, is so busy. And then the prayer line is empty. Because what, people don't want to pray anymore? Humble yourself, seek the face of God and pray. We should not only cry out to God when we need something. He wants us to know Him for, for who He actually is. We should be a people who are willing and able to seek the face of the Lord. For the Bible said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things 